In this video, we're working with quadratic functions, and we will be finding the vertex by using a method called completing the square. So let's actually review some of our forms of the equations of a quadratic function. We have standard form. It looks like this. The form is always y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So these coefficients here have special meanings. The a value, your number in front of the x squared, always tells you whether your parabola opens up or down. And when it's positive, it opens upwards. When it's, down, when it's negative, it opens down. And the c value is actually your y-intercept. To check that, if you input 0 for x, because for every y-intercept, your x value is 0, you will get your c value. Next, we have factored form, and it looks like this. So it's always in general form of y equals a multiplied by x minus s times x minus t. a once again tells us if our parabola is going to open up or down, and s and t, these numbers here that are part of the factors, they're actually our x-intercepts, otherwise known as our zeros or our solutions. And to find those values, we would have to input 0 in for y because for every x-intercept, our y value is 0. And we would have to solve for all our possible cases of x. And lastly, we have vertex form. So this is what we want to get today. It looks like this, and it's always in this form here. So y equals a multiplied by x minus h, all squared, plus k. So a is, once again, it tells you whether your parabola opens up or down. And the values h and k is actually the coordinates for your vertex. And we will be working on converting equations, quadratic equations, from standard form all the way to vertex form so we can easily find our vertex. Here's our example that we're going to work on. The equation that we're going to convert is y equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 6, and we're going to convert that equation into vertex form. Always make sure that the terms in your quadratic are in this order. So you have your x squared first, then your x term, and then your constant number term. So we're going to look at our first two terms, that's 2x squared minus 4x. And the coefficient in front of your x squared, you want to factor that out of only your first two terms. And when you do only factor the coefficient from your first two terms, it helps to pre prevent some mistakes later on throughout the process. So we're only factoring out the coefficient. We're only factoring out that two. We're not looking for the greatest common factor between your first two terms. So we're only pulling out that two and we're going to be left with x squared minus two x in those brackets. And we're just going to leave that plus six on the outside of the brackets. Next, we're going to take a look at our new b value and that's going to be the coefficient in front of x. And I say new because we factored out our a value, so we've changed that value in front of x. So I want you to focus on that new value, and we're going to take that b value, so we have negative 2, we're going to divide it by 2, and then we're going to square it. Okay, so when we do negative 2 divided by 2, we're actually going to get negative 1, and we want to square that number. So negative 1 squared is just a positive 1. So again, what we did, we took that b value, we divided it by 2, and then we squared it. So this value is actually really important because we're going to end up introducing that number into our equation. So we're going to start off with the original equation, y equals 2. We have an open bracket, x squared minus 2x. And I do not want to close that bracket yet because this is where the 1 comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 1 and subtract 1. And then we'll close that bracket and bring down that plus 6. So this adding 1 and subtracting 1 isn't random at all. It comes from this b divided by 2 all squared. So this is the number that you're always going to add and then subtract into your equation inside those brackets. And mathematically, we can do this because 1 minus 1 is just 0. When we add or subtract the same number to any equation, 
it's just like we're adding zero to the equation. So it doesn't actually affect the value of the equation. And also one thing to make note of, we always need to add the number first and then subtract it. And that's going to be very important for the next steps. So next we actually want to take our subtracted number, our minus one, and bring it outside of the brackets. Okay, so we'll start off with writing our equation y equals two times x squared minus two x plus one, and I want to close the bracket here. And I wanna bring that minus one outside of the brackets. Now, since that minus one was originally inside these brackets, we have a two on the outside of the brackets. So we gotta multiply that minus one by two if we're taking it outside of the brackets, okay? So we're taking that minus one and multiplying it by two. So that's going to become minus two. And then we have that plus six at the end. And we're just going to combine that minus two and the plus six before we actually move on. And now let's focus on this thing that we have in the brackets here, this trinomial. We're going to factor that trinomial. So our trinomial is x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now let's factor that. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us 1, but when we add those two numbers, we get negative 2. Okay, and we're looking at factors of 1, and that's really just negative 1 and negative 1. So when we factor this, we're going to get x minus 1 times x minus 1. And there's another way to write that. It's x minus 1 all squared. So that's a special case there. This is actually a perfect square trinomial. So if you're used to factoring perfect square trinomials, then you can go straight into this factoring step. Otherwise, you can always just use sum and product to factor that. But your goal is to factor this trinomial, okay? And then we're going to bring it back into our equation. But I just want to quickly point something out. So remember when we did b divided by 2, and in this question, we got negative 1? Well, that's actually going to be your special number when you're factoring this trinomial. So we got negative 1 here. That's always going to be that b divided by 2 value, okay? So that's a bit of a shortcut to help you factor out that trinomial. And the last step is to put this factored form back into our equation. So we're replacing that trinomial with our factored form. So we're going to have y equals two and replacing this trinomial with x minus one all squared. And then we have plus four at the end. So if you notice, we are done. This equation is now in vertex form, okay? So our vertex here is one and four. Here are more quadratic equations that can be converted into vertex form using our method of completing the square. I'm going to work on the first one, but the next three are for you. So this equation is y equals x squared plus four x minus five. Now I want you to notice that there is no coefficient in front of this x squared, so we're not factoring any number out of our first two terms. Okay, so I'm going to go straight in looking at this b value that we have here. And we need to take that b value and divide it by 2. 4 divided by 2 squared is just 2 squared, which is equal to 4. So we're going to introduce that 4 into our equation. So our equation is y equals x squared plus 4x. And we need to add 4, then minus 4. It's important we do it in this order, we add then subtract. And then don't forget about this minus five that we originally had in the end. And I wanna group these first three terms. So let me rewrite this equation. Y equals x squared plus four x plus four. Now we're gonna put brackets around these first three terms because these first three terms are very important. And we're just going to combine these last two terms together, minus four, minus five. And so that's going to become minus 9. And this trinomial that you see here that I put brackets around x squared plus 4x plus 4, that's what we're going to factor. So we want to factor this trinomial. And if you notice, this is our perfect square trinomial that we created. So when we factor that, that's actually x 
plus 2 squared. And we need to bring that x plus 2 squared into the equation. We are replacing our trinomial with its factored form. So we're going to get x plus 2 squared minus 9. And we are done. This equation is now converted into vertex form. And the next three are up to you. It's really important that you practice this whole process so that you get used to it. And if you need to, just go back to the video and rewatch some of the examples.